Paul Powell, I have a question of you. Okay. First, I want to know your story. <laughs> your story. <laughs> My story. <clears throat> I grew up one of seven kids. We were all born in nine years. So uh, it was like, you know, Sleeping Beauty and the Seven Dwarfs. And we were always fighting for attention, I swear to God, although our parents always gave us plenty of attention. My uh, dad had one rule at the dinner table that I think pretty much sums up the Howell upbringing. His rule, as we all nine of us got around there ready to eat, said, you have to keep one foot on the floor. Everything else goes. Uh, he was a great man. He passed away in December last year after a long, wonderful life. And I got my storytelling from the Norwegian that grew up in North Dakota. Um, I was always fascinated with music, with the arts, with performance, with Broadway as a kid growing up. Went in, I got a degree in music composition and theory. And I got a second degree in communications because I figured I could probably make a living in communications, but maybe not as a composer. Yet now, all these years later, after 35 years of being in the advertising branding world, I really brought those two worlds together. This idea of the applied science and bewitchery of storytelling and how it works in the world of commerce and advertising marketing, especially in this day and age when we are all so bombarded by so much communication that our brains just go. And yet I found, Adam, that the secret is the primal power of storytelling and using narrative frameworks, mm -hmm. actual frameworks that you become intentional, intentional about using that cut through the noise, the cacophony of communication, connect with people on a very primal human level and move them to action. And that's why today, after running my own ad agency for 20 years, that now I consult, teach, coach and speak on the power of brand storytelling to help you connect and, and, and move people to action.